Hey, good evening, good night, whatever you want to call it. Um, B Show here. So this is a different kind of post today. Um, this is the corner of 13th and Cary. It's right under a restaurant food place called Urban Farmhouse. If anybody knows this area, there was a homeless man named Wesley that that was his spot. That was his hangout. That's where you used to see him all the time. We haven't seen Mr. Wesley in about two weeks. And I wish I knew the first place to look for him because uh, I'm concerned. You know, um, we saw him from the time we moved in here in October and he was like a everyday fixture. We saw this man daily. So to not see him at all in the last two weeks is just not like him. And I, like I said, I'm concerned because, you know, when you see somebody like that and they're always there, you know, the only time I didn't see him is if it was like ridiculously raining or something like that. But for the most part, this man was there every day. If you didn't see him one day, you saw him the next. It's been two weeks now, no Mr. Wesley. How do I know his name was Wesley? Well, when we moved around here, like I said, that was his spot. And people, the people that uh, work there know him because Savannah and I have gone in that place. And the last time I went in there, I asked him, hey, have you guys seen Mr. Wesley? That was about 10 days ago. And they said, no, we've been wondering where he's at. And the, yeah, getting off the subject, how I found out his name was Wesley is that people that went in there used to say, hey, Wesley, they would pass by, you know, and sometimes they would um, give him stuff, whether it's food or uh, money or whatever. He never asked nobody for anything, never saw him ask anybody. He just used to sit there with his phone, chilling. Sometimes you would see him uh, walking with his belongings, but that was his corner. So I guess it would be great if I could, um, I don't know. I just wanted to see if there's anybody out here watching that knows this area, that knows Mr. Wesley, that can think of a way to um, just try to figure out where he's at. Ooh, it's another human night in Richmond, Virginia. So excuse me while I whew, wipe my sweat. But yeah, um, I'm gonna tag Urban Farmhouse in this only because that's where he was and maybe someone in Urban Farmhouse can circulate this and find out where the hell he is. You know, again, the man don't owe me money or anything. It's just that when you're used to seeing someone and you know that they're in a certain situation and then you don't see them, it usually doesn't mean something good. So if somebody knows ooh, where he's at, you know, it would be great to comment. Hey, there's a car coming through here. If you looked at my video yesterday, um, I was talking about how I don't know whether I should go through the gate or not. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna stay because look, the checkpoint's moving. So that doesn't necessarily mean though that the gate on broad is open. So just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna um, take the route that I took or been taken the last week and change because there is a parking area over there. So this guy could have left that parking area as opposed to coming from Broad because it wouldn't make any sense to come through the gated Broad just to go this way. So, but yeah, um, this video is about Mr. Wesley. If anybody knows where Wesley is that hangs out by Urban Farmhouse on 13th and Cary, 
it would be great if you could comment and just, you know, let me know if you don't know, but you know of where he used to sleep at, that would help because he didn't sleep there. He wasn't there on overnights that I noticed. Um, yeah, cause some, I would see him in the morning when I got home. For the most part, when I was leaving for work, I didn't see him that much. But then when I got off, he was there in the morning. So if you know where he sleeps at, you know, that could be one place to at least start to look because he was a nice guy. You know, I ended up introducing myself to him one day after work. I was on my way home and he was sitting there and I said, you know what? I see you every day and it would be great to know your name. Who are you? You know, my name is V, how you doing? And he said, my name is Wesley. And um, he said, I may not remember your name. And I said, that's okay, it's all right. And um, yeah, so after that, every time I saw him, I would say, hey, Mr. Wesley, how are you? And he would say, hi, whatever. But, um, you know, of course, he also had his days where you could tell there's something else going on with him where he would not really hear me when I spoke to him. So, you know, on those days, I would just speak to him and keep it pushing. But, you know, it would really be nice to know where he is because, like I said, he didn't bother anybody and he was basically a fixture on that block. So, holla if you know what happened to Mr. Wesley. Holla if you know um, at least the first place that we could put some feelers out because, like I said, there, you know, there's other people that have noticed that he's not here. So maybe it would be great to organize something to find out where he is and you know I don't know but it's a thought anyway I hope y'all have a good night coming up on 14th and broad matter of fact I'm gonna hook this left and see if that doggone gate is indeed closed I already know it probably is but anyway I'm going to let y'all go, and I will see you on the flip side at some point in the very near future. Later.